Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm here to talk about National Dex Doubles again. Um, in the last video, I talked a little bit about Stack Attack uh, and the recent like metagame changes. Um, today, we're going to be talking about a new survey that has gone out uh, about potential uh, future of cheering action for this metagame. Um, and I just thought I'd uh, make a video here going over it. What are my thoughts on the survey? Um, what could this uh, tier change in the future to be? Um, what do I think are the most uncompetitive slash competitive parts of this metagame? Um, yeah. Anyways, um, I guess to set the stage here, uh, we should take a look at like a bit of like the tiering history in this tier. I just put a like I think about it like a month or so since the last ban. Um, I'll go down here to National Dex Doubles. Um, let's see. Here it is. Uh, so, the last couple of bands, the last band actually is not on here. I don't know why I opened this. I feel like I got fooled by this again. Um, but, like, about a month ago, a little bit more, uh, Zalazenta got banned. Um, and that was really just, like, an absurdly broken Pokemon. Um, iron Press, Body uh, body Press, whatever. Um, with, like, an insanely high speed stat. It was very difficult to, like, actually, like, counter. Um, and... Prior to that, Mega Metagross uh, was banned. Um, however, there are still several Pokemon left in the metagame that are traditionally banned in DOU formats, um, which is pretty interesting, right? Uh, we have stuff like Fluttermane, which is banned in uh, SV, uh, DOA, banned in SV, Marsh, banned in Gen 7, um, etc., etc. And so that's a fair number of the Pokemon that are on this survey here. Um, but some of the more interesting ones on this survey are Pokemon that have not actually been banned in any DOU tier before. Um, and so that's going to be maybe like the most interesting part of, I think, this survey. Um, anyways, so every survey on Smogon, for some reason, starts off with how enjoyable do you find the current metagame and how balanced and competitive do you find the current metagame. These are basically like usually the same question. And I don't entirely understand why they're on here. And I will talk about this on every single screen video I make until it changes because I don't know, I like being annoying. Um, but as I said in the last video, I actually really like this metagame. Um, it's my favorite one at the time. I'll also give it a 9. Um, I don't think anything can really hit like a 10 for me. Um, I just am too volatile with my enjoyment of these formats. Um, how balanced and competitive do you find the current metagame? I.e. the better player wins more often. Um, I'm going to say this is also like an 8 or a 9. Um, I'll give it a 9. Um, I think this metagame is, like, pretty healthy uh, for the most part. I think, like, the good teams are not really, like, too matchup fishy. I think, like, for the most part, like, um, if you're building right, you'll have outs into every matchup. And I think that's, like, the most competitive uh, thing about this metagame. Um, it feels pretty stable. There's some there's some broken stuff that, like, makes it so the things you can run are, like, a little bit limited. But when you're running, like, the good stuff... Um, you can generally count on to have like generally competitive games, um, so that's why I'll, I'll rate it highly. Uh, however, I do think it could be better. I don't think it's like an eight. Um, there's there's some things here that I think are maybe a little bit like on the negative side. Um, but we'll get into that. All right. So the first Pokemon on here is Marshadow. Um, it's a Pokemon, like I said earlier, uh, has been banned in both SM and SS uh, DOU Gen Eight and Gen Seven. Um, to be quite honest, I think this Pokemon probably should not be legal in any, like, Smogon format, unless the power level gets, like, much, much higher. Um, I mean, like, standard. Like, I mean, obviously, you have an Ubers or whatever, but most fighting is, like, very, very dumb. Um, and I think this is, like, my biggest problem with the metagame. Um, this Pokemon has is very difficult to, like, actually account for in the team builder, because nothing actually, like, can resist both ghost and fighting. Um, and there's there's several things about Marshadow, right? Um, the first one being, well, obviously it has great offenses with, like, an excellent typing, right? Um, but the biggest thing is, like, that I think is the sneaky part of what makes this mod so broken. Um, is look at the bulk on this Pokemon. It's 90, 80, 90. Now, this is a Pokemon that's, like, you think of it as frail. I mean, it obviously it drops its, like, defense a lot with CC or whatever. Um... And this Pokemon is, like, deceptively hard to remove. There's some things that it's just, like... You feel like you want to knock it out with that, but it just can't. 
Um, and so I think that's one of the things about this Pokemon that makes it seem a little bit uh, more broken to me. Um, in addition to like the obvious, like you can't switch in. Um, I think mean, there's a lot of teams that like this Pokemon punishes. Um, it really can be on like some of like the bulkier like teams we've seen in the past um, in this format. Um, I've built like multiple. I've built a lot of teams the last couple of weeks just because I've been enjoying building. Um, and unfortunately, the majority of them actually had to be scrapped solely due to Mars Shadow. Like they were good into like everything else, but I was like, okay. I can't run this because if I do into Marshadow, it's an auto loss, right? Um, I have like three or four Pokemon that like only like the, the only shared trait between them is that they lose to Mars because that fighting typing, like if, for example, I was like messing around a lot with Mega Kangaskhan the last couple of weeks. Um, and one team I had was it's like Mega Kangaskhan, Gothitel, and like. Ferroforn. And that team, I tried so much with the last three slots to, like, fix the Marsh Shadow matchup, but it was just, like, extremely dire, because nothing, like, actually, like, totally checks Marsh. Um, so, I, although I could have, like, three Pokemon with decent Marsh matchups in the last couple slots, mostly just because they have high physical defense, um, I thought it was pretty, like, frustrating. Um, so I think that's probably the number one thing I have going on here. I, I'm gonna rate this, like, a 10. I think this absolutely does not have a place. Um, there are like a couple other things here. There, this baiting this Pokemon would have several like repercussions, right? Most notably, um, Marsh. Like again, I, like I said, it really preys on like the the bulkier like teams that like to pivot around a lot um, because you can't really pivot around Marsh. That's the thing you can't really do. Um, and it also would make setup a little bit stronger. Uh, that's one concern a lot of people have in this meta game. Marsh actually, like, one of the other really strong things in this meta game is follow me, Jirachi. Um, and Marsh is so good into that because Marsh A can, like, knock out um, Jirachi with, like, that super effective Spectral Thief that hits really hard. Um, but B, like, it also preys upon, like, the setup mods because it can just copy their boosts or not copy, steal. Um, but really, I, I don't really think that should be um, a focus here. I think this Pokemon is just... It's just too high a power level to have in, like, a DOU level format. Um, there's... If there's anything that, like, punishes, like, building this here, it's this. I think in the games, like, it's not a Pokemon that really ever trades better than, like, two for one, really. Um, because, it, like, it's it's not... It's a very offensive Pokemon. You run it offensively, and it gets hit by a couple moves, it'll go down, right? But I still think it gets too much value, and it's too difficult to, like, account for in the team builder. Um, because when it just, like, sit up, stick on the field for, like, too long, it's just going to, like, out-damage you. Um, and, yeah, I just think it would be a lot more enjoyable to, like, build this format without this one. Um, and obviously, if things become more broken without it, then we have to be in those things, right? Um, but that's my number one issue with this night again. Um, all right, Zygarde. This has been talked about a lot. Um, this is probably the most controversial Pokemon in Apex's history. A um, bit of context for those who don't know. Um, Zygarde was, like, around a year ago. Um, Natdex has been its first, like, doubles team tour, um, doubles derby, the first doubles derby. We're now in the second one, and that's part of why we're having this tiering survey. Um, but in the first doubles derby, yeah, the metagame was, like, very favorable to Zygarde. Zygarde was just, like, very dumb. Um, if you built, like, a good Zygarde team, you could most of the time just win with it. It was just that good. Um, Slayer Amulet plus Terra, uh, it was just, like, absolutely huge buff for this Pokemon. There's, like, well, it doesn't actually hit hard, it has, like, Practically, uh, well, not unresisted, but like it hits flying types, spread move, stab spread move. It doesn't hit hard, but like you can't stop it from setting up most of the time. Like the Intimidate doesn't exist as counterplay anymore because we amulet, and then like it's very difficult to pin it down because like um, you have stuff like Terra to just like bail you out. You also have stuff like Follow Me Jirachi, which has always been paired with Zygarde. I don't think Jirachi is the problem. We'll get to that later. Um, but this Pokemon's pretty dumb, too. Um, I'll put it at, like, a 7 or an 8. I think Marshadow is absolutely a bigger issue, but I'm not going to be upset if, like, Zygarde is the f first thing that gets acted on, right? Um, I think Zygarde is just, like... It's just dumb. 
the fact that it wasn't banned before, there was a suspect, it did not get banned, and then, like, I don't know. I think we could have solved a lot of problems by just banning Zygarde. We have ended up having to ban Cochin, and Cochin is now banned when, in reality, the strategy, in my opinion, was never, like, actually problematic. But it was just an alternative way to tackle the imminent issue of Zygarde plus Cochin. When I think all along the problem's really been Zygarde, right? Um, there's also been some discussion about, like, Clear Amulet as well. Um, I'll go to that post on here. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Two good posts here, one by Z, one by Rat Packer. But Rat Packer um, talking about why he thinks Clear Amulet should be suspected. Um, now, I think this is actually a really interesting idea. I don't personally support it. Um, but it was met with like a lot more opposition than I thought was warranted, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I thought this, like, this is a good idea, right? There are like, two or three Pokemon that Clear Amulet like, really, really breaks, right? Um, it punishes like Intimidate Counterplay. Well, it doesn't really punish it, but it like ignores it. Um, and I think that's really something that's fundamentally questionable balance-wise, right? Um, because to me, there's like a few things that really are the backbone of, like, doubles, right? And one of them is Intimidate, one of them is Fake Out, and one of them is uh, Speed Control, really. Um, but a lot of those, like, three things have been, like, you've there are new ways to, like, get around it or, like, abuse it or whatever. Um, and Clear Amulet and Covert Cloak, I think, were two of the dumbest items we've ever gotten, to be perfectly honest. Because they take away from that safety of those, like, backbones of doubles. Um, and now, Clear Amulet, the thing is, like, it's more dumb when you have more dumb Pokemon, right? Um, so, obviously, people are talking about banning Zygarde, and that's fair. Um, I think, like, if you look at the imminent issue that's, like, right in front of us, Zygarde seems like the issue, right? Um, but we've also seen stuff like Stack Attacker that's seen a fair amount of use recently. Um, and stuff like Cure and Black, in my opinion, just should not be able to like hold a clear amulet. The Pokemon's not like currently broken, really, because there's more broken things you can do in this tier. Um, but I think this is an interesting idea, um, and it it got like pretty much like immediately shot down. Um, say no, it's not warranted. Blah 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 blah. And I mean that's fair, um, but like I don't know. I think this is definitely something that should be like kept in mind for the future, because I don't think Zygarde is going to be the only thing that uses Clear Amulet and all these other buffs, right? I think if we ban, like, a couple more things, Cure and Black becomes problematic. And sure, I mean, we could ban that too. Um, and then Stack Attack a whatever. I don't really think it's, like, broken per se, but, like, it's definitely better than it should be, in my opinion. Um, it's not broken. Um, but Clear Amulet, it's just... I think it's just kind of an uncompetitive item in doubles. Um, and so I was actually really glad to see this post because no one had talked about it. Um, but this is an interesting idea. I think this should be kept in mind. Uh, so keep this in the back of your mind as we talk about the rest of this survey here. Um, anyways, let me just read this over really quick, see if I missed anything. Yeah, we'll move on. Uh, but yeah, I think... Zygarde, probably something that should be dealt with uh, in some capacity. The Pokemon's always been very dumb in this format. Um, should have been banned, like, a long time ago. The fact that it stayed legal on that suspect genuinely, like, put the tier so far behind. Um, that, that's maybe the suspect I regret the most, like, the result of... Um, not really regret, because I didn't have any, like, control over it, but I think that was, like, the most, like, dumb suspect result I've ever seen. Um, basically made Zygarde, like, absurdly broken during the Nat Dex Premier League metagame. Um, I brought Zygarde like five times, I won all five times, and none of the games were particularly even close. Um, but, unfortunately, most of those replays are now gone, hilariously. But this Pokemon is just... Again, I'd like to see Marshada first, and the fact that it's been Zygarde's been suspected before makes it like a little bit weirder to like suspect it again. That was something Rat Packer touched on. However, it's been almost a year... Um, We've banned many different things, and the Pokemon is still seen as problematic by a lot of people. Um, so, absolutely something that should probably happen in the future. Um, but, personally, I think Marsh is a bigger, more imminent threat, and I think if we get rid of Marsh, there could be a few new ways to tackle Zygarde, because you can run more positional teams if you don't have Marsh. 
Um, all right, Jirachi. Now, this is the other big component of this matter. Um, we'll go back here to what Jello posted right below Rathacker. I believe Jirachi should be the main focus in regards to which one we should be looking at, blah, 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 blah. It's absolutely way too much value out of one line. It's the best redirector. It can also be the best rocker, best enabler, best trick room denial, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I mean, this is, like, pretty correct. Jirachi is a very good Pokemon. However, I don't see it as problematic. Um, I think it's a very, like... It has its place in this metagame. That's because this metagame is very high power level, and Jirachi is a very consistent Pokemon. Um, and having, like, that redirection, like the bulkiest redirector we really have, really, um, it's just very helpful. And I, I really appreciate this Pokemon. Uh, I think it's very stabilizing. Um, and it's part of why I think this metagame feels, like, very... Um, because running this is, like, it's kind of anti-BS. Uh, it kind of... In, in my opinion, the way I see it, it's like... Jirachi is one of like the key defensive pieces that's allowing this format to be interesting right now. Um, there's like a lot of offensive things. Um, and Jirachi, with Follow Me, has been banned in the three generations where it was legal before. Um, but to be quite honest, um, we, we also have stuff like Overpawn now. Jirachi's better. It's bulkier. Um... But to be honest, Follow Me Jirachi doesn't feel that as like insane, I think, to me, really. Um, so I don't really... This is, this is something where, okay, I can understand people being upset about it, but personally, I do not see it as like the actual problem with this metagame. Um, I'll give it like a three. Um, because it's a very bulky Pokemon. Um, and really, like, if we had a more normal power level format, I think this Pokemon could very easily be like, something that's problematic, right? Um, but at the same time, uh, I just don't see it really as an issue. Um, and to me, this Pokemon, this Pokemon's history of DOU is kind of interesting. Um, I wasn't really around for a lot of like the way that this like Pokemon ended up being banned from all three formats, right? Um, but it's kind of interesting to me that the, it stayed banned primarily off of like something that an interaction between Azumarill and Jirachi that was like very good in Gen 6. Um and I don't know if it was like ever really like tested in any of the other like DOU formats. Because the way it stands right now, I feel like you could drop this Pokemon in like uh Gen 8 DOU and you would not have any problems at all, to be honest. Like um it doesn't feel like that insane to me really. Uh the power level Pokemon has reached really. Um but again Maybe if we had a little bit less powerful format, this Pokemon would be broken. I, I'm not going to like rule out that this could be touched at some point. And obviously, if people think it's problematic, then we should look at it, right? Um, but personally, not an issue for me. All right, Sakataka. Hmm. This Pokemon, we talked about it like last time, right? Um, very good Pokemon. Has received like a lot of indirect buffs and direct buffs with like Clear Amulet and Terra, right? Um, but also the removal of like multiple strong fighting types that like dealt with it. Um, I think this is more of like a reaction to the way the metagame developed than anything. I think there are still ways to deal with this Pokemon. Um, and to give it like four. Now this it might be some people might be surprised that I gave like this a higher rating than Jirachi. Um, it's more so because this Pokemon has risen up very quickly and while I do expect it, it will go down, there's always a possibility it won't, right? Um, in which case... Um, it might be worth looking at this. However, I don't even think this is really remotely close to the other Pokemon that we've had on this survey so far. Um, but we'll have to see, right? Um, but yeah, I think this is more like a, a short-term change. Um, it's obviously a very good Pokemon, and people are realizing that, but I think it'll find its place in this metagame where it's not being used like quite as often as it is right now, but still like remains like solid, right? Um so it's been an interesting development. Um, but we'll have to see where it goes. Um, not, not, uh, not, not time yet, in my opinion. Alright, DOA. Now, this Pokemon is, like, fundamentally pretty stupid, right? Um, but there's a lot of things going against it in Ethics. Um, most notably, I think, for me, it's, like, Jirachi is very good. Um, and I think it really struggles to deal with Jirachi. 
I think it's like fundamentally kind of stupid, but we haven't seen really any of it in like Derby. Um, uh, I'm not sure usage stats are really available. Let me check. Let's see. Hello? Yeah, it's seen one use so far, and it didn't win. Um, so I think this Pokemon could be, like, kind of broken, but, like, at the same time, I don't really want to work off of hypotheticals. Um, and it's very clearly, like, not being used. I think that's kind of incorrect. I think people should be using this more. Um, it's not a Pokemon I should learn Expanding Force. I'll give it, like, a, a four, or I guess. Um, but we need to see more of this if we want to ban it, and we're not seeing any of it, so it's like, come on, I don't think we can really touch this right now. Um... But this is something I would hope people start using in Derby War, because I think this definitely has potential to be one of the strongest Pokemon in the format, and probably a little bit broken. In addition, it has Tapu Lele to use as like a uh, Psychic Terrain mod, which doesn't have all the utility that Ndidi has, but it has a different utility. Um, and it's more offensive, and I think that's like gives more flexibility to this Pokemon, it could easily make it broken. Um, but again, I haven't really seen much of this, to be honest. Um, it was not I've used it before, um, and it felt definitely felt like very, very powerful. Um, but it's kind of one of those Pokemon where it's like it's its matchups are so volatile that it's you're not always sure if you want to bring it to games. Um, okay, Shadow Tag. Now this is my favorite ability in the entire game, um, and it would make me very sad if this got banned. However, a lot of people do have their issues with it, um, but I think it's one of the more like interactive and, like, long-term, like, planning abilities that's really present in the game. Um, so I would prefer to not see it banned. Uh, however, there are some dumb Pokemon, and when you have dumb Pokemon, um, Shadow Tag can definitely probably be abused a little bit, um, but I really haven't seen enough of it to really convince me that this is, like, broken. Um, there was, like, one game where it had a really strong showing, but I think, like, it was also, like, the opponent didn't really play very well around it. Um, so I think we need to see more of this to really think, see if it's like broken or not. I don't think it is, personally. Um, and I really wish it wasn't banned in SV, but that's another another thing. Um, okay. Now this, EVMZ. Now this is, uh, this is kind of interesting. Um, this is EV's exclusive Z move that gives plus two to all stats, and then you can baton pass out. Um... I've only seen this in tournament twice, and however, both times it has won, and both times it has felt extremely stupid. Now, I'm not entirely sure if that's an issue with the fact you could pair it with Jirachi, but I, this is also something that's banned in Gen 7, um, which is the only other time Z-Moves have been legal, right? Um, I think this is... I would prefer to see this gone, to be honest. I don't think it's like... It's definitely the best way to run Baton Pass, and the fact that I can definitively say that, and the fact that it is one game is doing that, I'm not a fan. Um, for those who don't know, there's like a team. It's like Smeargle, Jirachi, Flamigo, Eevee, Ensign, and the, like Mega Latios. And the, basically the idea is you get the Eevee set up, you Baton Pass out into Storm Tower Mega Latios, um, which also can have stuff like Recover. Uh, and it just becomes, like, very difficult to stop if you, like, actually get it set up. Um, and there's a lot of tools available in this metagame to let that happen. Um, so I'm not... I would prefer to see this gone. Um, at the same time, it's a bit of personal bias here. I've lost this before. Um, but it's, like... It's just... It doesn't feel healthy to me. Um, because it's not. it's not easy to stop this because... There's also stuff like Jirachi to, like, redirect. And now you could say this is an issue with Jirachi, um, but the thing is, we haven't seen this enough for me to really conclude that the issue is Jirachi. Um, and I think you'd still have other things you could abuse this with. I feel like if you had, like, Ogre Pond Wellspring, you can follow me. This one would still be pretty annoying. Um, and it just, I just, I don't like the way it, like, flowcharts games. I don't think it's very interesting. Um, and in general, I don't think it's not good when, like, Baton Pass it's not something that's, like, broken in doubles because you have so many other ways to play around. It's not like singles where it's, like, 
immediate like cheese and it just ruins meta games. But um, when you have it as an accurate, like a, an active, like strong part of your meta game, um, I don't think that's a good sign. Um, again, we haven't seen much of this. This is more so my personal like preference on the matter than anything. Um, but considering that like there's a strong team that has run it and it has won multiple times. And the team has not changed. It has won across multiple different formats. Um, does not seem to be something that's particularly healthy to me. Um, and I would prefer it was gone. I mean, it's not unbeatable. There are absolutely ways around it. But the thing is, like, strategies like this, um, it's often like, is your team prepared to deal with it? Okay, then you're probably fine, but you still might lose anyway. Or... You're entirely caught off guard. Your team, for whatever reason, doesn't have like a tool to deal with it, and now you're just screwed. Um, I don't think things like that are very like healthy. And I think EVMZ is like the most uh, one of the best examples of something like that, where it's like you either pass the check or you don't. And I don't think I don't, that's not something I'm a fan of. Um, but I'm not going to be like too upset at this stage. We don't see it very often. Um, and you can also you can also just call this kill issue. I don't care. But like, is this something that's really healthy? In my opinion, no. Um, but yeah, that's the survey. Um, any other comments? Um, not really. I think absolutely the angle should probably be um, suspect marsh first. Um, in my opinion, I think banning this would make a lot of things like easier to run. Um, and then after that, we'll see where the metagame goes, right? But I could easily see Zygar being problematic after that. Um, so the two things to me that are, like, pressing matters, Marsh and Zygar, um, I could absolutely see both of those going within the next couple of months. Um, we'll have to see where support is. But yeah, that's just my thoughts on NatDex at the moment. Um, feel free to comment down below any thoughts on the metagame. I will leave this survey in the comment, in the pinned comment, or in the description or somewhere. Um, and yeah, Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.